School may be out, but more than two dozen students are getting a rare glimpse into what it takes to be an FBI agent. Brent Weisberg has more. Agents, why don't you go ahead and give us a briefing on what you discussed with the assistant United States attorney. In a command post at the FBI building in Northeast Portland, more than 50 students got one of the most realistic and hands-on look into what it's like to be an FBI agent. This is the fifth year of the Youth Leadership Academy in Portland. The three-day course exposes students to the history of the FBI. I had no idea what it was about. I just thought suits, sunglasses, gun, bust through some houses and whatnot. Bailey Monlux is going to be a senior next year at Franklin High School, but today he's part of a team trying to solve a mock kidnapping case. The students take witness statements. He heard her say, let me go, or at least someone say, let me go. And they will execute a mock search warrant that would typically be reviewed by the U.S. Attorney's Office and a federal judge. Do we have any information on this guy that says that he's armed and dangerous? Over the last three days, the students have learned the process FBI agents go through in real life from that initial 911 call to an eventual prosecution. I like talking with all the different agents and they would explain to us the process of becoming an agent. Yenny Soler will be a sophomore next year and says this exposure to a potential career path is incredibly helpful. Organizers say these students are incredibly lucky. Not all 56 field offices with the FBI put on these types of academies. I think I'd either like to do forensics or psychology, just interrogating people, learning how to, you know, detect a lie or anything like that. Reporting in Northeast Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.